Now, we often get asked how to add palmeric sand to existing patios where it's coming out or loose or, or what have you. So first thing we do is we tell the homeowner to pressure wash it or we pressure wash it. Then, after that dries, usually about a day later or so, we take a slicker, a flat tip screwdriver, the back of a trowel, what have you, and we comb our way through the joints entirely. We scrape them all out. We get it down as much as we can, but it's gotta be at least an inch or so to receive the new polymeric sand. Some instances, you can't really get it down. You, you, you literally have to do what you can, get it as deep as you can. You have to scrape repeatedly and you gotta comb through each joint individually as we're doing here. You see, this is a tight, stubborn joint. We're literally having to go back and forth between our tools, scrape down. What something doesn't work, you have to find something else, then you brush it out. Same thing. Like I said, you go through the entire porch top in this instance, scrape everything out as best you can. You really got to dig in there and get as deep as you can because the deeper you get, the more polymeric sand you're going to get in these joints and you're going to achieve a better look. And honestly, once the polymeric sand's in there fresh, it's going to look like a new paver job. It's really going to restore the pavers as well. So once you get it entirely scraped, you get a blower and you blow it entirely out. Now you can see down and deep in all these joints. Then we pour our palmeric sand on the porch top. We get, for this instance, we're using what is a whitewash brush. We are brushing and spreading thoroughly throughout the porch top, taking our time, brushing it all. Now we leave the residue on, on top for the first combing and brushing throughout the porch top. The reason we do this is we're gonna go back with our dead blow hammer and we're gonna beat each paver down individually. And what that's gonna do is drive down the polymeric sand deep into the joints and make so it, that nothing settles and we don't have any gullies in the joints. This is gonna get it down, compact it if you will, now you can't put a compactor on these old pavers, especially up here. They're brittle and you'll break them and that's not what we're trying to do. We're literally just trying to touch up all the palmeric sand. So we get it in there, we beat it down over and over again. Now we leave the layer of palmeric sand on top for two reasons. One, so that it can get back down in and two, so we're not directly beating these old pavers because we don't want to crack them. I have none to replace them. So now we're going over again with the whitewash brush, fine tooth combing through each joint line. You want it thin. You want it about an eighth of an inch below the paver. There it is. It's Now it's all brushed in. It's all nice and done. We blow everything again. Now we had already scraped out the bottom, uh, the walkway. So now it's time again, the same facet. We put it down, we spread it with the broom, and then we go through and fine tooth comb it with the whitewash brush. No, I'm not doing this because I'm paid by the hour. I am not. I'm doing this because this is how you have to spread it the correct way to get it to look the best. Take your time, have pride in your work, and shoot for quality. That's why I comb it through the joints this way so it will look the absolute best. We want it clean and pristine when it's done. We want it to look like a new paver patio. Now that we have it in and we fine tooth comb through everything, it's time to wet. We wet on the shower setting. We start at the highest point and we wash downward. We rinse all those sudsy things off. The suds are the glue and the polymeric sand activating. We want to rinse that entirely off because anywhere it stays will be residue. Even though it all dries clear that residue with this current G2 polymeric sand slate gray color, we still rinse. We rinse excessively. We rinse again. And then and once we get it all off, we also rinse the limestone. We don't want any of that to stick because that glue will also stick to the limestone and create a bit of a hazy look. We don't want that. Now this says technically it dries haze free, but if you do it long enough, you know that it will leave some residue behind if you don't thoroughly clean it. I'll get the blower, I hit it with the blower, and all I'm doing now is just getting all the white and the water off the pavers, off the limestone, and the rest of the porch. Once this is all the way done, I will then turn my attention to the walkway that I am redoing, and I will hose that in the same fashion. Here you'll see the finished look. It's still a little wet. I will come back when it's dry, but now it's time to hose on the shower setting 
the walkway. They say to do for 30 seconds. You don't have to do for 30 seconds. I don't count it out of my head. You'll know when, when you know. Then you hose it down, and here you'll see it got into all the joints. It's all the, the white suds are entirely off the patio. Now, after the first few rains, some of those suds will come back. That is completely normal, but they will wash away after a few rains entirely. Now you'll see, it looks new, it looks clean, it looks pristine. You can't tell all those joints were missing. That's all you were trying to do. See, here's our dry look. As you can see, every joint is thoroughly infilled and looks new again. The porch top, same thing. So again, it was worth it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Have a great day.